Well, after spending a couple of days down at the Farm Brett Air Show, watching everyone else have an opportunity to fly, I kind of figured it was time that I got back in the cockpit again. Down here at London's Oxford Airport, it's just about an hour out of London to get here. And there's a company that I found online called Cirrus Training UK, which actually matches the registration you can see here on this Cirrus that we're flying. This is an SR20 G6, only came into the country last week. So I'm actually going to be one of the first people to get to fly this brand new Cirrus. It's a little bit iffy, we're going to go VFR today, no problems there, but ideally, and the plan is, if we can, we're going to try and get across to France. Let me introduce you to Philippe, um, Philippe hey guys. he's a Cirrus CSIP, um, based down here in the UK, does a lot of flight training. What are we flying today, Philippe? So this is the SR20, the G6, so Cirrus aircraft reinvented the SR20 at the beginning of 2017. This one here is, is brand brand spanking new. So it's got uh, 42 hours or so on the uh, on the Hobbs, most of which was the ferry flight coming from the US. Down to the south coast, yep. uh, along the coast, and then depending on the weather, are we going to be able to get across? I really yeah, want to we'll get try. across. Do you think we'll be able to do that? I, th I think so. Some cumulonimbus right now, uh, mm. just to the east of where we want to go in France. It looks like it's moving west, so we'll see. We'll take that view once we're on the coastline. But yeah, should, awesome. be, should be a nice little flight. It's going to be a good flight. All right, I'll let you finish off the pre-flight. Cool. Um, we're going to jump on board shortly. Ready to go? Go for it. Right. Here we are. So just as we're uh, taxiing, you know, we're going to check that the exercise freewheeling, the ball turns on the outside, right? It's yeah. aligned with the magnetic compass. Okay, now, runway 19, clear take off with the right turn. Wind. Is there eight zero four knots? Can clear for takeoff from a one nine with the right turn golf uniform kilo. All right, so full power. Great. Balancing with the rudder prop coming in. And airspeed's alive on both. There we are, twenty seven hundred RPMs. These and these are good. Thank you. Fifty, sixty. She's getting lighter. 75. Awesome. And we're up. Away goes the ground. We can do a right turn when you're ready. Okay. Right turn. And there's Blunham. Do you see it there? Oh, yeah, I do see it. Let's just point our nose right at it. All right, Philippe, can I hand over to you yep. just so I can be I've photographer? Got the controls. All right, you're playing. That's a great view. Thanks, Philippe. This is brilliant. It's like you've started the sightseeing flight on a real bang. You're going to have to like <laughs> lift your game the rest of the flight. This Don't is worry. Great. There's a lot more where this is coming from. <laughs> That's a pretty impressive building. Man, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Ornate. So, Jackie, my wife and I, we were down there about a week and a half ago just having a look around before Trump came in yeah. and did his thing. But that's ah, an impressive building inside. Oh, it's dead smooth today. That's yeah, actually very nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. It's hard to believe that this afternoon will be uh, thunderstorms forecasted. Yeah, I'm not really holding the controls at all now. That's very still. I've never uh, seen the country so brown. So, in, in my house in London, yeah, right, I haven't seen rain in the garden for two months. No way, really. Not a drop of rain since uh, the middle of May. Like seeing these brown fields when I came in, when we landed last week. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a different country, to be honest. Yeah, Where's the green fields, the lush green fields of England know. gone? All right, let me play with the autopilot, Philippe. Yeah, just go for it. This one, so, so AP for autopilot yep. on, which will just hold heading and roll. So that's exactly right. It's a pitch and roll. Pitch and roll. And then so I'm flying heading so, yep, mode if I want to go heading mode. Heading. Exactly. And then I can fly the heading bug if we needed to. I can yeah, just exactly. Give a little test. There you go. 10 degrees. Yeah, great. There you go, and then you'll lean till the arrow is on the blue line. 
Oh, that right. makes it easy. So that is peak. So in the, in the new G6, you run it at peak, as opposed to lean and peak, which we'll be doing in uh, Turn practice. Look at that. Look at that. Still at 2,000. Boom. You can see the beginnings of white cliffs. These are the small ones. The baby cliffs. The baby cliffs of Dover. <laughs> we'll head up the white cliffs of Dover on the way back from France. All right. Sounds good. On the right hand side, there's yeah, there's a yellow roller coaster at the end, I think. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Shoreham Golf Uniform Kilo, we're past your zone now at Brighton Pier. We're going to change frequencies back to uh, modern information 124.1750. Golf Uniform Kilo, Roger, good day. Woo! Okay. Yeah, nice! Altitude. Nice to feel a few G's. Uh, well, a few? A few. Hey, hold on, that was not a few. <laughs> <laughs> well, within the, well within one, the operating limits of this 1.2, 1.3. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on, before I get in trouble for exceeding the load limit on the airplane. <laughs> You should have seen the loop he just did back there, which we didn't capture on film. That was a good one. There, yeah, you got the white cliffs. That's nice. Very low tide. Oh, and there's the rain beginning. Golf We're starting to get a couple of raindrops on the windshield. So that's it, Beachy Head Lighthouse. That's right, cool. Yeah. And Golf Uniform Kilo, uh, just for your information, as you're approaching Lid, just caution, danger area 044, active up to 4,000 feet. Uh, great, thanks very much. Uh, we'll be flying for another uh, probably about five uh, miles, and we'll be turning uh, towards the 2K Golf Uniform Kilo. Golf Uniform Kilo, watch out. So normally, right, so France is, what, it's uh, 30 miles that way? Yeah. We would be able to, you know, on a nice day, here you 100% you would see France. You could see it, yeah. okay. But we're definitely not seeing it out that side. We're definitely not. And uh, we're also not picking up the weather. Your shout, how much do you really want to go to France? Uh, well, I don't think any Englishman really ever wants to go to France. <laughs> which I will cut out of this video. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to push it. You know, we're way. both instrument-rated pilots, so in terms yeah. of the safety of flight, I'm really not concerned. Yeah, I mean the idea was to go across to France and have a bit of a, a bit of time outside the plane as well. But if it's raining there too, right? Yeah, if it's raining, actually, do you want to walk around? Like, are we going to rent bikes and go down to the beach? Probably not. I really wanted to rent bikes and go to the beach. Well, this is the thing with aviation, though, isn't it? Is it's about having a plan B and uh, adapting your plans yeah. if things don't go the way that you want them to. And even though I'd love to go to France and ride bikes with Philippe on the beach, <laughs> we do like all the slow-mo footage. It would just be it'd be an amazing thing. You know, a nice vignette around the edge of the lens. And then we could skip we could, on yeah, the beach. Skip on the, on the beach. It would have been perfect. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, you've got to make decisions, the right decisions for the safety of the aircraft first. Absolutely first. And I think our beach adventure may have to may have to wait another day, mate. Yeah, it might. Which is unfortunate because the last two months. Yeah. It's really I don't everything. know. And it's literally the only day where we've got this kind of rain and low clouds and this visibility. Yeah. Ah, well. Again, as pilots, sometimes you're just going to make the plan and suck it up and move on. So instead, what can we do instead? Because right. we're going to keep going around the coast. We could keep trucking around the outside I of think, Kent. I uh, think let's do that. Yeah. So we'll make the tour of Kent, which is my old yep. home. Is yeah. my home county. Exactly. So what we're going to do? We're going to fly along. We're going to hit up Dover now. Yeah. Cool. So then we'll fly along the coastline, and we're going to go and look at some of the World War II battlements in the estuary. This is our last look. If we see any coastline over there. We have to with our decision. We are. But it's always the pilot thing. I don't know whether you do this, but there's a little bit of second guessing. But you have to nix that immediately. Because you think, oh, maybe I could just try and squeeze, and that's when you get problems. That's true. That is very, very, very true. Oh yeah, ooh, that's a cool feature. And then you'll see these two lines that jump, yeah. right? So you feel that, so now it kicks you back to a normal bank angle, oh, 30 yeah. degrees. Yeah, I can right. feel that. Yeah. Look at Charles, that's great.
looking thing. They are cool. Yeah. So these are the Monsell Forts built in 1942 to 43. They were decommissioned from active uh, duty use in the 50s and then taken over. Some of them were taken over in the 60s by uh, some of the pirate radio channels of which there's uh, there's been one or more movies made. They look like uh, Star Wars. Uh, what are those? Not the, the walking ones in the jungle. What was the Forest of Endor with the... Um, yeah. Oh man, all the people who like Star Wars who are watching this are going to crucify me, but <laughs> the two-leg thing, not the Atats, they were the four-legged ones, but... I could die. Oh, man. My I'm son is the one who's going to crucify me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen those before. Do you know, I didn't even know they existed. I kind of lived 20 kilometers over there. And so this is as we're getting into London, right? There's a lot of airports around London. It's a really busy airspace. So we're just going to have to uh, you know, do a, even more than we have been already keep a good lookout for traffic. All right. And then we'll see if we can get a transit over London City Airport, shall we? Yeah, that'd be cool, actually. A Golf, uh, Charlie, Tango, Uniform, Kilo, we're Sierra, Sierra, Romeo, 22, Oxford to Oxford. We're currently uh, five miles, seven miles to the east of Biggin Hill at 2100 on 1014. Request a transit through London City Zone and south to north, please. Roger, uh, Golf Uniform Kilo, Squawk 7050, remain outside controlled airspace. 7050, remain outside, Golf Charlie Tango Uniform Kilo. Golf and Uniform uh, Kilo, contact Heathrow Special for the transit. I'll transfer in the details now, he'll be expecting you, 125625. 125625, uh, Golf Uniform Kilo, thanks. Heathrow Special, good day, Golf Charlie Tango Uniform Kilo. Golf Charlie Tango Uniform uh, Kilo. You're clear to enter control airspace to route towards the other dogs, but not above 1,300 feet, sir. Make sure you're not above 1,300 feet before you enter control airspace. All right, not above 1,300 Isle of Dogs, Golf Uniform Kilo. <laughs> so we are getting, we're going to get very close. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, right, you take, you, you photo, I'm going to focus. All right. Understood. Right with you? Understood, yeah, that's good. You focused. Golf Charlie Tango Uniform Kilo, you're cleared. Island Dogs, sound to leave the zone. VFR, not a bounce, 1,300 feet to the We should have just come here and done this first up. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. It's a real privilege, actually, to be able to get a view of a major city like that from so close and so low down. That's yeah. brilliant. I'm loving it. That was pretty good service from Heathrow radar as well to get that transit through their zone. Yeah, friendly so, service. So most pilots are afraid, I find, of having, because it's very high workload. You have to have that flexibility, but you also have to be commanding on the radio. I had a conversation with ATC in Melbourne and they were saying the same thing. It's just if pilots have confidence to talk to air traffic control yeah. and just ask the question, the worst that can happen is they'll say no. Right. And the best that can happen is that you, you, know, you might be able to go somewhere that you may not have otherwise yeah. thought you could fly yeah, in. Yeah, for sure. So left base for my 1-9, right? One so nine. you got that. Okay, you should, just figure it out here. Yeah. Nice for Tower Golf, Charlie Tango, Uniform Kilo, we are back with you. Golf Charlie Tango Uniform Kilo, Oxford Tower, hello again. Join and report left base for runway 19 QNH 1014. The circuit is clear. And we will join and report left base runway 19. Yeah, nice. And that airplane will slow down nice nice on its own. We can put in that first notch of flaps. We'll call this our downwind leg. Yeah, perfect. So now we want to just pitch for 90 knots as we come down. Beautiful. This is All great. Right. And golf Charlie Tango Uniform Kilo's left base, 1-9. Uniform Kilo, report to final, runway 1-9. Well, we're turning final now, Golf Uniform Kilo. Uniform Kilo, roger, clear to land, surface wind, 0, 080 0 degrees, 5 knots. Clear to land, runway 1-9, Golf Charlie Tango Uniform Kilo. Look, I see four white lights, that means you're uh, right on glide slope. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than full raids. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is a long runway, so they land, you know, big jets here like we saw on the ramp up before departure. Yeah. 
So yeah, now we're slowing the airplane down to 80 knots. Really nice. Well done. That's it. Let her come down. Let her come down. There you go. Hold it off right there. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Yeah. Oh, squeaker. Beautiful. Squeaker. And with a bonus bounce. Yeah, double. <laughs> Two landings in one. <laughs> Coffee uniform kilo. Fake eight left at the end. Follow Alpha Tank three towards the main apron. Left Alpha of the apron. Golf uniform kilo. And understand you had never actually landed the 2K and returned to Oxford. Yeah, that's right. Uh, weather over the channel wasn't so good. Roger. Thank you for the flight. If you yeah. want to do, look, if, I always really want to encourage everyone watching this channel, when you travel, if you're a pilot, don't just think you can't fly in other countries because it's actually a lot easier than, than you think. I just, um, I spoke to Philippe online, first of all, to set this up. If, you, if the guys want to fly with you, Philippe, yeah. like, can we put your details below as well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Find my Instagram, Cirrus Pullman, or my email will be down below grab a ride with this guy he's a very good tour guide but i've learned a lot and i lived in this country wikipedia helps <laughs> <laughs> hey thanks nice flying with you yeah Appreciate well that. done you take care and um, yeah guys come fly with philippe it's a lot of fun and it's good fun flying around the uk although what's this sun about seriously it's nice now it's nice now the thunderstorms we were promised the storm, they're in france <laughs>